What if I told you that everything in this animation, with our hero looking identical in every single frame, was created for free? No, seriously, you don't need pricey software, an art degree, or a massive studio. Just you, your computer, and four powerful AI tools that cost nothing. And here's the kicker. Creators all around the world are already turning these AI animations into real income streams, earning hundreds or even thousands of dollars each month. For years, the biggest headache in AI animation has been consistency. How do we keep our character looking the same from scene to scene? Today, I'm handing you the exact blueprint to solve that problem. By the end of this video, you'll have a crystal clear, step-by-step -step workflow to transform your wildest ideas into a sleek, professional animation. Sound good? Let's go. Step 1. Craft a story with ChatGPT. The first step is to write your script, but there's a secret hack for consistency. Before anything else, create what I call a master character profile. In ChatGPT, describe each character in insane detail. Now let's get the story. Open ChatGPT and say something like, Write a 3D animated story about a boy and his friendly dragon. Create an original, emotionally resonant story in the spirit of how to train your dragon. Hit generate and watch it spin out a fun, heartwarming tale. Boom, there's our basic script. Ask ChatGPT for detailed character prompts. Right after the story, ask ChatGPT to generate a detailed character prompt for both characters. Write me the detailed character prompt. This gives you two copy and paste ready character prompts you'll use in Whisk. Next, tell ChatGPT to enrich it. For example, type, great, now expand the story. Also, for each scene in the story, give me a detailed prompt that an AI art generator could use to create an image. Just like that, ChatGPT will deliver a beefed up story and ready to use image prompts for each scene. You now have a complete scene by scene plan, a story, image prompts for every shot, and those detailed character profiles. This setup ensures that when we generate visuals, everything stays consistent. Step 2. Lock in characters and scenes with Whisk. Next, we move to Whisk, Google's free AI art tool. Whisk keeps our characters 100% consistent. When you open Whisk, you'll see three sections on the left, subject, scene, and style. These are our building blocks. Subject. Click on the subject panel and paste your main character's full description from ChatGPT. That creates a profile for our hero. Then click the plus button in subjects to add a second profile and paste the description for the dragon friend. Now, Whisk has both characters locked in with all their details. Scene, now define the background. Copy the setting description from your script. There is already a scene description written out and paste it into the scene section. If your story goes to multiple locations, just add more scenes here and name them. Style. Finally, pick a visual style. In the style box, type something like Disney 3D animation style with vibrant colors or whatever aesthetic you want. This tells Whisk how the overall image should look and feel. With those set, it's time to generate images. Grab the first image prompt from the list ChatGPT gave you. Paste that prompt into Whisk's main prompt box at the bottom. Now, very important, if that prompt mentions both characters, make sure both character profiles are checked in the subject panel, then click Generate. Within seconds, Whisk will render a picture of Kale and the dragon in that scene, styled just like you asked. The best part, because we set up the character profiles, they look the same as your descriptions every time. To continue, repeat this process for each scene. Copy the next image prompt, paste it into Whisk, select the correct characters, and scene for that shot, and hit generate again. Do this for all your prompts. Each time, Whisk will output a new image where the characters and style remain exactly consistent. Now we have one high quality still image for every scene in our story. Step 3. Animate the scenes with Whisk. We're halfway there. Now that we have our still images, let's bring them to life. In Whisk, click on one of your generated images and select the animate option. You'll see a box for a motion command. Here you can type simple directions like, the camera slowly pushes in. Click animate and Whisk will produce an 8 second video clip of that scene with motion. Repeat this for each of your scenes. Animate with a brief motion instruction. Here are the animated clips. In no time, you'll have an 8 second animated clip for every scene in the sequence. You can download it easily. Step 4. Add voiceover and sound. Now let's handle the audio. You can record your own voice or use an AI voice. For a fully free AI solution, I use Eleven Labs. Just paste your script's dialogue or narration into Eleven Labs. Pick a voice and it will generate a realistic speech file. Download the voiceover MP3. Step 5. Final assembly in CapCut. This is where everything comes together. Open CapCut, 
a free video editor, and import all your WISC video clips and the voiceover file you just made. Now arrange your clips in order on the timeline. Drop your voiceover audio underneath so it lines up with the scenes. Add some transitions between clips from CapCut's built-in options if you like. They have some smooth crossfades and wipes to make the cuts look professional. Also, feel free to add background music or sound effects from CapCut's free library to match each scene's mood. Don't forget the auto captions feature. Hit that, and CapCut will automatically generate subtitles for your dialogue, which is awesome for viewers who watch without sound. Once everything is synced, the visuals, the narration, the background audio, Audio, we're almost done. Export your project, and you're done. If you found this walkthrough helpful, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe for more AI-powered creativity tips. Now, go unleash your imagination and make something amazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.